Hello, my name is Callum, and here's a bit about memory models for the XC16 compiler. Memory models give the compiler extra information. We need this because we follow a traditional compilation model. That means the compiler will generate some code and the linker will try to allocate it. However, knowing where the linker is going to place the code and data can help us improve our code generation. We have two kinds of models available to us, code and data. Furthermore, you can select between small and large. Remember, when talking about code memory model, we're really talking about the distance, not size. When talking about the data memory models, we're worried about the allocation area on the device. Furthermore, with data memory models, you can select settings for scalars, aggregates, or all data. Feel free to experiment. In this example, we see that the link fails. Selecting the right code model allows the link to be successful. However, we have a warning, so let's try the small data model. During development, we suggest that you leave the default settings as they are, and when you get to the end of a development cycle, try optimizing for the data memory model first, and then the code model. If you need some more information, feel free to visit microchip.com slash compilers, or check out the information in the compiler manuals included with your distribution. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please enjoy other videos in the series. Thanks for watching.